emergency order. Exterminate all Metroid organisms on planet Zebes. And defeat the mechanical life form, Mother Brain. Can, can I do that in Smash Brothers? Oh, and before I forget, we will be changing the stream title. Or we will be changing the stream game. Metroid Zero Mission. Yo, open up Twitch already. Zero Mission is a good one. My personal favorite 2D Metroid. I know people swear by Fusion, and I'm sure Dread is great as well, but I mean... Zero Mission... It's... No, it, 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 it takes it for me. Alright, let's start. We are... Oh, we can't even play on hard mode. We'll play on normal. The game is simple, but very well done. Planet Zebes. I called this place home once, in peaceful times, long before evil haunted the caverns below. Now I shall finally tell the tale of my first battle here, my so-called Zero Mission, Samus Aran. We get this tiny little intro, and that's it! Then it just launches us right into the gameplay, which is how I like it. Morph Ball. <laughs> we get it already. Double tap down to take ball form and gain access to narrow passageways. That's because this is basically the first Metroid game, but, you know, it's actually playable. Metroid NES, I'm sure it was impressive for the time, but it's very hard to play that game uh, these days. Because there's just a lot of stuff that is really limited by the hardware and bad design decisions. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Su I okay. I forgot. I always forget about Super Metroid. Super Metroid's good, but I s I could not wall jump in that game. I could not figure it out. Go there. Energy tank recharge has been completed. Don't you want to save? No, but I want that room on my map. <laughs> I I have played the Game Boy Color Return of Samus, not the remake. I think that's what you were asking about. Oh hey, I did the wall jump here. I can't do it successively, though. And that, and, and Super Metroid, you have to, like, wall jump eight times in a row or something. I'm like, I cannot do that. I also can't shoot that far. Blammo! <laughs> we get Long Beam. Why is this a power-up? I don't know. Now you can fire long distance shots. You can also, you know, L and B to fire diagonally. We could do that before, to be fair. Energy tank completed. <laughs> I don't know why you need the ability to shoot long distances. Like, why was that just not a part of your default equipment? Yeah. For some reason, playing this on a 360 controller actually seems worse than playing it on the uh, Game Boy Advance <laughs> itself. I, I love the uh, 360 controller, but it, maybe it's not built for everything. Rah! Yeah, you can't go to the final world yet. You are definitely not equipped. <laughs> In the NES one, you can uh, click past there. Oh, hey! You're the guy who convinces us you're, like, a boss of some kind, but you're actually, like, literally a common enemy later on. <laughs> nice to see ya. Good job. Now we want you to go way over there. I 
I just need to activate the hover cheat in Super Metroid to get out of the stupid monkey pit. <laughs> what kind of a gamer can't even watch it with Super Metroid? Well, you know what? <laughs> Sometimes we're not as good as we remember us being. I had to learn the hard way that my uh, gaming reflexes are actually starting to wane. I played Wii Fleep in Mario Party 5. I used to dominate that. Now I can't even beat the normal computer players at it. My reaction time was so bad. Oh, no. We need bombs. I have not memorized the map layout in this game by any means. Ow. Ow. No, that's not very nice. Do you want to save? No, I'm good. I'm fine. <laughs> if we die, though. If we die, we have to go back to the last save. So we could potentially lose a lot of progress. Yay, we get our missile tank! Press R and B to fire opens red hatches. Or stuff locked behind bobs. Hey, this thing. Uh oh. I already wasted too much. I'm gonna see drops missiles for us. Whoa. Hey, no fair. I'm out of missiles. Maybe I should have saved. <laughs> you're dying. You're dying. Did you know you're dying? Yes, thank you. I appreciate the constant painting of health. It's so helpful to me. Because I can't look in the upper left of the screen. Alright. Doesn't refill our HP, but it does save! <laughs> no, we're not playing Metroid Fusion tonight! Oh, it's the weird, like, bug parasite thing. Oh no! I don't have missiles, so I can't open the freaking red hatch! Drop this. Oh, thank you. No, I remembered to save the game. Ow! Ooh! You do not want to fall in the cherry Fanta. Or the orange Fanta. It will eat through you like nobody's business. Now we get to destroy a bunch of wasp hives, which I am all about. Wasps suck. It's like, you remember bees? You like bees? Try wasps! They're even worse! Not only do they not make honey or pollinate flowers, but they're even more aggressive! <laughs> That's just so many wins right there. Aha! Missile tank acquired. I needed that. Especially since Mr. Bozo McMozo is back. I'm gonna die to this guy, aren't I? <gasps> oh my gosh! I'm miraculously still alive. And we get charge beam. <laughs> Hold B to charge. Release the fire, and you can jump with a full charge for a charge jump. I'm not sure if the charge jump does anything. Oh, thank goodness! <laughs> we get an energy tank! Can you imagine if we were playing on hard mode? I would be dead if we were on hard mode. Thank goodness they were like, No, you're too stupid to play on hard mode if, if like, this is your first time playing. But it's technically not my first time playing. It's your first time playing. Ow! Oh, ow! Ow! Orange Fanta! Doink, doink. Hey, I can 
congrats. You know what, we should save after that ordeal. You were without Charge Beam for most of the game? I mean, Charge Beam is not the best. Ow. Oh. Yeah, I don't think Charge Beam is needed for anything in the game. It can be, I guess, kind of nice to have, but I generally prefer the Rapid Fire anyways. Alright, there we go! Best weapon in the game, it's bomb! Press B and morph ball ball form to set it. You unlock hard mode by beating the game. Missile tank, yes! There is a lot of missile tanks in this game. And some of them are ridiculously well hidden. Now we can destroy these little micro guys. Now the door will let us leave. <laughs> this is one of those games where you can bomb jump, and it's actually not even all that hard. Let's try to bomb jump here, actually. You can literally gain infinite height that way. I'm not going to, but you can. Is it hard playing this on hard mode? You just take extra damage from everything. Brinster map data acquired. Let's actually try this. Okay, now nah. I'm not waiting for those dumb turtle things to line up. You can definitely sequence break there, and I think that might let you get various early, which is actually a pretty great upgrade. Lower damage. You can walk in Orange Phanta without taking damage. It is a pretty nice uh, power-up, but... I'm not even certain if you can do that or if you're blocked by something else. So it's probably not worth it. Ouch, 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 <laughs> Alright, tell me where to go. <laughs> Not that I actually need your help or anything. Go to Norfair. There you will find the most valuable item in the game. I'm actually trying to remember what the next item is. I don't think it's Ice Beam? It might be Ice Beam, though. Whatever it is, though, I think it's pretty good. Ow! We gotta take this fan out again. Great. Yeehaw! Aha! There we go. Oh, no, beat it. Hey, 
Why did it uncrouch me? I did not push up. Ow. Out of my way! Why do these guys keep respawning? I'll duck on you. There we go. Missile tank! <laughs> you can make this a bit easier on yourself if you get wait to get some more power-ups, but eh. I'm an impatient man. I, I want it now! <laughs> It's my missile tank, and I want it now. Well, that was a little embarrassing. These stupid bug fans. Hey, yeah. Oh, you never finished this? I would encourage. I would definitely encourage you to go back and finish it. This is a fantastic game. Again, my favorite 2D Metroid by a lot. Part of it is one of the reasons I really like this. It isn't brutally difficult. A lot of the 2D Metroids are really difficult. Oh, you <laughs> never you didn't play it at all. I'd still encourage you to play this one though. This is a great game. <laughs> Uh-oh. It's Mother Brain! She's watching us go on the elevator. Welcome to Norfair, land of the lava. And not much else. Also, this Norfair music doesn't sound anything like the Norfair music in, uh, A, the original Metroid, and B, Smash Brothers. It's like a completely new uh, song. Ooh, yowgee, yowgee. Oh, wait, never mind. Okay, so we actually... I forgot. We don't even go to that place just yet. So never mind. I do remember what the next power-up is. It's just not in the location that they told me to go in. So we can't get there yet. Ouch. Whee! As much as I want that missile tank, we can't grab it yet. Yeah, original Metroid is very rage-inducing. Because it's like, oh, you can't really save. Like, if you save and then after, like, res if you die and you have to reset your life, like... Uh, I got news for you. You only start with 30 HP, no matter how much, uh, how many energy tanks you have. And refilling your energy is not easy. You just have to grind enemies for, uh, energy. It's awful. Oh, no. Uh, oh, this is bad. Oh, we're slow, Samus. And we can't even bomb hover down here. And the never spawning bugs, yeah! <laughs> Isn't Metroid great? <laughs> it's so fun. Chazo Ruins! It's not just in Metroid Prime anymore. Unknown item! Analysis inconclusive. Item incompatible with current suit. But it's not a total loss, everybody. Now we can destroy the hieroglyphs. Missile tank acquired! Yeehaw! Better sit. No, 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 it doesn't matter. If you save and then stop playing and then go back to the game later, when you respawn at the save point, you will always have 30 HP. That's why the save system doesn't even work that well in Metroid 1. Oh, okay. Oh, darn it. <laughs> I thought maybe I'd be able to skip that part. Eh, I couldn't. Yeah. 
Yes! Power grip! Grab and hang from ledges and corners. Yeah, that's a power-up that you need to unlock. Samus doesn't know how to use her arms at the beginning of the game. She literally needs, like, superpowers for that. It's a good thing we found it, too, because we needed to climb out of here. Yeah, basically, original Metroid is extremely hard to play. <laughs> oh, hey, it's our ship! Which fills up our weapons and energy. And allows us to save. Actually, let's go farther to the left. That way I was going leads to the way out. But I want to explore some more. Which I actually don't think we even really can. I think pretty much everything here is blocked behind speed booster stuff. Yeah. Never mind! Stupid. Get out of my way, turtle bots. I don't want you. But now that we have power grip, we should be able to go back to this room. Aha! Missile tank! Like I said, man, they're everywhere. <laughs> Don't fall in the drink! <sighs> oh, rats. Power bomb door. We're not going to be able to open that for a until the end of the game. <laughs> I love how I specified the controls for my controller, and I keep forgetting that it's the, sh the trigger buttons and not the trigger bumpers in order to aim diagonally. <laughs> Whoops! That's on me. I should know my own control scheme. Okay, but I thought there was a missile tank in this room. One that was higher up. Eh, maybe I was wrong. Or maybe I just can't get it yet. Okay, yeah, I probably just can't get it yet. Back to Norfair! Later, Criteria. Oh, it's Norfair! Would you believe it if I said we were already a pretty decent way for the game? Missile tank. Trust me, you're, you're gonna need those missile tanks later on. <laughs> Good luck defeating Mother Brain without an insane amount of missile tanks. And now we should be able to climb up on the right hand side. Save for safety. Save complete. That's very true. That's true for all the Metroidvania games, which is how we get things like the Hollow Knight Randomizer are possible. I could not play Hollow Knight Randomizer, because I do not remember where all the stuff is. <laughs> oh, no, that's actually, that was a really dumb move. I forgot that all of this is destroyed by bombs. I'm like, I'll just bomb jump! <laughs> this is perfect! <laughs> uh, yeah, about that, Artie. 
no. We'll we'll save that one. I like this room though. This really tall vertical like green alien. I don't think so. I think this game has really just one ending. Unless you count the game over as an ending. Ice Beam, here we are. I thought we got Power Grip before this. This beam can freeze enemies in place. You can safely stand on frozen enemies. Like, thanks. This is our only way of getting out. Now those turtle fans are actually going to help us out. That's annoying, though. Ice Beam is your... F Ice Beam is your favorite beam? That is... a bit of a hot take, actually. A lot of people really don't like Ice Beam. My favorite in this game, at least, is Wave Beam. Wave Beam, I think, is the biggest upgrade. Now oh, go fight Kraid. We are we're really going to Kraid already? I wow. Kraid's not quite the halfway point of the game, but like it's the third of the way point of the game. Oh, wait, hang on. No, no, no. That room has a circle in it. If a room has a circle in it, that means that there's some kind of an upgrade. Aha! Yes! That is true, Dreamfinder. Also, if you've ever seen the TAS of this game, it's pretty insane. I don't know! I didn't want to go down! There is also a way you can cheese this room. There's a very well-hidden upgrade in this room, and you can absolutely cheese it. I can't remember exactly how, which I know you can. Also, I'm like 90% sure this leads to a hot room. Yep, yep! Don't want to go in that room till we have very soon. This is, this is actually bad. I really do need to get my head in the game. As that one song says. Okay. We can't cheese the room just yet. Just not high enough. Curses! Okay, that should be high enough. There we go! Things I do for a missile tank that's not even gonna come in handy because we are only playing this as a one off. <laughs> Oh, but, at least before we finish, there is one thing you definitely can cheese in Brinster, and I'm going to do that. <laughs> do something that is definitely not the intended way of doing it. But hey, Metroidvania games are all about those sequence breaks, right? 
Save complete. Also, fun fact, if you get 100% in this game, it makes the final boss significantly harder. Not even joking. Like, if you get 100% completion, the final boss not only gets way more powerful, they also get way more HP. So if you're looking to challenge yourself, a 100% playthrough is definitely the way to do it. so excited. One thing I really like about Ice Beam in this game compared to Metroid 1, in Metroid 1, Ice Beam literally made enemies take like twice as long to kill, because the first time you hit them with Ice Beam, they freeze, and then if you hit them with Ice Beam when they're frozen, then they take damage. So if you actually want to deal damage to them, you have to basically shoot them twice as much, because then after you shoot them, they take damage, but then they unfreeze. Yeah! Time to cheese it! <laughs> you are not supposed to get that missile tank at this time. You're supposed to need speed booster for that. But the speed booster for that is super annoying to use. So I'd rather not. Actually, no. We don't need to save because there's a Chazo statue right over here. And I think it would be rude to not take them up on their hospitality. <laughs> they practically raised me. Oh, wait, they did raise me. Okay, right, energy tank. You can also conveniently freeze the Shriek Bats, but... This way is more fun. Down we go to Kraid! We have some of the best music in the game. Tank. Don't look a gift horse in the mouth. There was one puzzle in crate I remember being like, <laughs> took me ages to figure out. And I can't even remember what it was. It was something ridiculously simple, like, oh, did you try, like, stepping on this one tile that's actually, like, <laughs> will make you fall down? Oh, wait, no, I think it's it. I think it's in this room, actually. <laughs> yeah. I think that cannon took me ages to figure out how to get it. I do love the Morph Ball Cannons in Crate, though. Stupid toady thing is ruining my day a little. So we'll blast him out of the way. I like, I like the power grip, uh, zigzag staircases. Those are fun. Again, like, this game, this game just has a lot of fun action adventure puzzles to do, rather than being like, now it's time for this annoying part. It's actually fun. Go figure.
Oh no, it's, it's also this part where it's like, yeah, you can drop a, a morph ball bomb there. How do you do that? Actually, I think there were a lot of puzzles in Crate that I just didn't know how to do. Ah, yes. Now we get the zip lines activated. Energy tank for me. You're too kind. And there we go. And I think that's a great time to save and quit because we've reached our half hour quota for this game. Man, that's fun. I can't believe in like a half hour we made it to Craig's world. That's kind of that's kind of crazy to me. But that that was that's a really fun game. If you guys have not played a Metroid game and you're interested in trying it, I recommend this one. Metroid Zero Mission, it's it's a very good game.